I'm Jasmine and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I know it's been a while. So today's video is going to be a life update, a pharmacy update, just to let you guys know what I've been up to for the past few months because I haven't been recorded since June and it's now September. So it's been three full months, which is I think the longest time that I've ever gone without recording. So if you guys are interested in knowing what I've been doing, what I've been up to, how my pharmacy journey is going so far, keep watching. Also make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to know more about me, my lifestyle, and pharmacy, and to get a dose of Jasmine. <sighs> it's been such a while, but thanks for watching y'all. Okay, so just a general update, I am now in my fourth and final year of pharmacy school, which feels absolutely insane. So my life has been full of clinical rotations, residency preparation, um, a national leadership position, which I'm so, so, so excited about, and honestly trying to create a good balance between work and life, so school and life. So I'm gonna give you guys an update about school, then I'm gonna give you guys an update about my personal health and how I've been maintaining being sane throughout fourth year of pharmacy school. So this year I started my fourth year clinical rotation. So whenever you're a fourth year student in pharmacy school, you do an entire year of clinicals. Um, and there are some requirements um, from, I think it's called the A, the, anyway, there's an accrediting board for pharmacy that makes sure that all pharmacy students have these core rotations. So you have to have, um, pharmacy administration, you have to have a community pharmacy experience and then clinical experiences as well. So, so far um, I've had an administration residency, <laughs> not residency, I've had an administ administration rotation um, and then beyond that. So May was pharmacy administration, June was ambulatory care or clinical pharmacy, um, July I had inpatient nephrology. <laughs> Um, August I was off now September I have an advanced ambulatory care experience so honestly my rotations have been absolutely amazing I've had great preceptors or pharmacists who are over me for my experience I've made great connections great relationships and honestly I've learned so much and been able to apply what I've learned in the classroom to real life patients so honestly I've grown a lot <laughs> Um, it's been an uphill battle, especially in patient nephrology because it was my first experience working with patients who are on dialysis, patients who've had kidney transplants. So it was a lot. I learned a lot, but honestly, I think I'm a much better student pharmacist. So fourth year rotations are going well. I'm learning a lot. It's a lot of work, lots of patient workups, lots of writing notes, but honestly, that's what clinical pharmacy is about. So beyond my rotations, after my June rotational experience, I have solidified what I want to do post-graduation. I know, right? Crazy. Because honestly, I've been all over the place, all up in the air, trying to figure things out. Um, and initially, I thought I was going to go down the di direction of doing managed care pharmacy. But honestly, now I'm leaning more toward a clinical pharmacy role, which is really exciting because in the past, I have kind of strayed away from clinical pharmacy. Um, but now I know that it's what I want to do. So... <laughs> my June rotational experience was amazing. My preceptor, her name was Mandy. She was great. Like she taught me all the ins and outs of her job, um, the pros and cons of clinical pharmacy. And I really got to see a well-rounded approach to what a clinical pharmacist does in outpatient settings. So honestly, I think that's the career that I want to pursue. So in order to do that, I'm going to pursue a general PGY1 pharmacy residency program, or essentially a residency that lets you basically learn more about different areas in pharmacy so that you can then progress to a PGY2 pharmacy residency program where you can become more specialized and work in a specific field. So I didn't know what pharmacy residency programs were before pharmacy school, but I'm going to do an entire video about the pharmacy training process after you graduate because I didn't know about it before. So I think it will be very beneficial for students to know what happens after you graduate pharmacy school, especially in today's climate. So I'm going to pursue a general PGY1 pharmacy residency program post-graduation and shout out to my June preceptor because she helped me see that this is what I want to do moving forward. So another huge chunk of my time has been residency preparation or the application process preparation. So I started pretty early over the summer because I'm a part of something called the PILS program and I'm going to list the website on the screen and down below. But the PILS program is a group of pharmacists who are committed and dedicated to helping students of 
basically underrepresented backgrounds so minority students pursue pharmacy postgraduate training opportunities and for me this program has been monumental it's been life-changing for me it's taught me everything that I didn't know that I even needed to know about the residency application process so over the summer so far what I've been doing is basically making sure that my curriculum vita or my CV is up to par because it was not before um making sure that i am ready to fully understand what the process entails so everything from mid-year which is a conference where you learn about all the residency programs making sure i'm prepared for that making sure my cv is great working on my letters of intent basically researching programs knowing where i want to be what these programs offer so the pills program has definitely been helping me with residency preparation and of course in my additional video about residency programs and fellowship programs i'll discuss more about how do you prepare for a residency program because i'm still learning um i'm still absorbing all the information but another huge chunk of my time has been preparing for residency Ooh, the application process is a lot but i'm so excited and i'm thankful to my mentor his name is chandler amazing thank you guys for helping me with the residency prep process so i've been really busy y'all <laughs> like actually verbalizing what i've been doing solidifies that i've been really busy so not only have i been doing clinical rotations preparing for residencies but i also was selected to be a teacher's assistant or a ta for two classes in the pharmacy curriculum in my school so i'm a ta for a class called on becoming a pharmacist actually it's not called on becoming a pharmacist anyway it's a class that teaches you patient care skills as a pharmacist and then the second class i'm a ta for is u.s healthcare and it's that was my favorite class going throughout the curriculum but it teaches you about our healthcare system international healthcare systems um the politics behind how healthcare works and then where pharmacists fit into all of that within the u.s healthcare system so i'm a teacher's assistant i have been working to not only grade papers give feedback but also helping with the background and information about courses and ultimately my goal is to help with one of the lectures in the class so I've been really busy with being a TA residency prep and then clinical rotations okay so another huge chunk of my time and why I've been absent from YouTube is because I was selected for the national board of the student national pharmaceutical association I'm so excited it's been a goal of mine since I entered pharmacy school I've always wanted to be on the national board of this organization because it is dedicated to serving underserved communities through pharmacy practice so my specific role is I am the legislative membership benefits and immigration chairperson for the student national pharmaceutical association so it's a mouthful but honestly it has been a whirlwind experience so i applied for the opportunity and then during the national conference which was virtual i found out that i actually got selected for the position so it's been so exciting i've been meeting national leaders from snafa from all across the country who have basically the same goals to provide great patient care for our communities that surround us and pouring back into those communities that have poured into us so i've been doing a lot of networking lots of meetings lots of preparation for the new year basically trying to plan my overall i guess agenda and things i want to accomplish in this role and looking at the bigger picture things um just because i want to make sure that i actually do accomplish something as a national leader so i'm so excited and i've been growing a lot um thankful for our current leadership team i'm thankful for the opportunity to cultivate more of my leadership skills so yeah i've been doing a lot with snafa <laughs> the last thing i wanted to visit was my personal goals and my dedication to my mental health so clinical rotations i think personally allows you to have more of a work-life balance because you go in every day at the same time most of the time you leave at the same time every day especially if you're in an outpatient setting because the last patient appointment is at a set time every day so it allows you the opportunity to do your work throughout the day come home work up your patients for tomorrow but also you can do things like cook dinner go to the gym watch tv sometimes which is crazy so i think my work-life balance has been much better um i've been going to the gym still so i'm able to make sure that i'm going to the gym reaching those personal goals um i probably should be journaling more <laughs> and meditating more but honestly i do think that my work-life balance has been a lot better over these past few months even though i've been really busy i do think that the clinical space has given me more of an opportunity to take care of myself which is great <laughs> 
So I wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Thank you guys for learning more about what I've been doing over the past three months. I'm sorry. I know I've been gone for a long time, but thank y'all for watching. Now you know why I've been gone. I've been really busy, but I'm gonna have more content coming forward. I hope y'all can't hear the siren outside. But anyway, thank y'all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching y'all. Bye.